First and foremost, I would like to give all the honours, the praises, the glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahavaka Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahabashai, in who I reverence and honours to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit. The spirit of Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, very few brothers and sisters listening, and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days, because we are living in the last days of the last days. So, Lord willing, it's going to be edifying, right? And we're just gonna we're gonna flow with the spirit, right? I think this may be, I don't know, it may be my last lesson of the day, I don't know. There is no condemnation to those that are in Yahweh Shai. I'm going to say that there is no condemnation to those that are in Yahweh Shai. Mashiach. There is no condemnation to those that are in Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. So nobody in the world can tell you, oh well, I don't think you should make it because of this, because of that, or because I don't like this. Nobody can do that. If you're justified through Yahabashai's blood you that's it see you got to understand what the adversary does the adversary is going to remind you of the evil you've done and how oh you're just not worthy and yeah most of us knew we were not worthy but now listen the lord didn't bring you wake you up to this truth so you could not have confidence in him that's all coming from the enemy that's why the scripture says Give the devil no place. So when the devil messes with your head, you don't give him any place. The devil's going to tell you, oh, you're not good enough. You've done this. You messed up here. You give the devil no place. You don't let him tell you them things. You tell him to get behind you in the name of Yahweh Shai. And you apply the scriptures. Go to Romans. Let's go. We're going to go to Romans 8. And see what the scriptures talk about. Justification. And how we're not condemned. Okay. Let's go to Romans. Okay. I want to go to Romans 8. Excuse me just a minute. Very <laughs> You know, just focus on this, baby. They send the honey pots as well. They send women. They send all that's part of temptation. But we have to stay focused. Let's go to Romans. Eight, there is therefore no no condemnation. There's no condemn. Bro, this is listen. Therefore, is no condemnation to them which are in Yahweh Shai Mashiach in Yahweh Shai. None. You could have fifty people, hundred people, thousand people come together and say, "No, we want to condemn him." The scripture says there is no condemnation to those that are in Yahweh Shai. Right? None. Okay. Who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. And you know something that's interesting that I want to bring up? Now you got brothers talking about P. Diddy. P. Diddy, all this is coming out and and because he's done a lot of things and so forth. Guess what? That means he wasn't true, he wasn't repenting. Right? Because you're not gonna be condemned if you truly believe in Yahweh Shai. You've got to understand this. A lot of men, they don't, they only give you one part, judgment, but they don't teach you, well, what's the balance? Because if all of us was to base everything of judgment, you'd be damned. If you were going, going according to the old law, you'd be damned. So a lot of men, they're not balanced. They're in a wicked ass spirit, right? With judgment, you also have mercy, but you weigh them out. You weigh that out. Okay, but a lot of men can't do that, right? Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So the scriptures talk about there's no condemnation to those that walk after the spirit, but not after the flesh. The more you're in your flesh, the more you're liable to be condemned because that means you're not repenting. If you're staying in your flesh, that means you're not repenting. The scripture says there's no condemnation to those that are in the spirit. Who will not after the flesh, but the spirit. 
Because we know the flesh. What does it lead to? Sin. So if you've been if you've been in the truth five years or five and a half years and you're still the same, you're still walking in the flesh the same way you were the first year you came into truth, then you could be condemned. But if you're not doing it, then you're not condemned. Right? Got these weirdos as well, man. Got a lot of weirdos around here. Bear with me just a minute. <laughs> so hold on just a minute. So there's no, condemn, there's no condemnation to those that walk in the spirit. So that's what we've got to do. Right? Walk in the spirit of Yahweh. My Sham. Yahweh, it's lucky my cameras will mess up now. So I'm going to fix this. So we've got to walk in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, for the law right, of the spirit of life in Mashiach have made me free from the law of sin and death. So from the law of Yahweh Shai has made me law from the spirit of sin and death. Right? So now we're not walking in that manner. Right? So listen. For what the law could not do in it was weak through the flesh, the heavenly father sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. Of sin, condemned sin in the flesh. So guess what? When Yahweh was upon the earth, that's what he was doing. Condemning sin in the flesh. Right? So knowing he was condemning sin in the flesh, guess what? We're doing that as well. Condemning sin in the flesh. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, Baba Kisha. Yeah, bro, you got these flipping weirdos, bro. You got these weird people. And might the vice of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they that after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. For they have the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded. Carnally is death. So when you're carnally minded, yeah, that's only going to lead to your own demise, right? Because someone that's carnal minded, they're acting off impulse, they're acting off the first reaction, flesh. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And that's why Satan sends people your way that are very carnal, hoping that you will react carnally, right? But once you're spiritual, you become spiritual minded and that leads to peace and a form of tranquility, okay? There's no condemnation to those that are in Yahweh Shai, fact, all right? And I wanna grab something because I know how brothers, certain brothers think and how they feel about their walk in the truth. And sometimes it feel like no matter how much videos you're doing, no matter how much you're going out, a lot of the times you feel like that's not enough. Right? And that is a good mentality to have. But you always want to do more. Okay. So see what we can find. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Now this is first John explaining what sin is. Verse 2. Hold on just a minute. Beloved, now we are the sons of God. It does not appear what shall we be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Right? And we're going to be like Yahweh Shai. Right? Fully perfected. We are like him now, but in terms of fully, 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 fully perfected, in terms of this sin is not going to um, this sin is not going to go off. Right? And it says, and every man that have risk hope. So what we just read, if you have that hope, purify of himself. So just by having that hope and believing that, you're purifying yourself. Even as he is pure, whoso committeth sin transgresses also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. Right? And you know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. There's no sin in Yahweh. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not, whosoever sinneth I'm not seeing him. Neither knoweth him, little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteous is righteous, even he, as he is righteous. He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. Right? For this, is the, for this purpose, 
the Son of God was manifested because the devil wants you to remain in sin that he might destroy the works of the devil key thing that he might destroy the works of the devil so Yahweh did do that when he got on that cross that's what he said it is done it is it's it is done he destroyed the works of the devil right did have no power over him and he resurrected so what, what could the devil do? Yahushua triumphed over, over that, right? And you got to walk with that mentality of confidence in Yahushua and that you're covered by his blood. Not, not walking in guilt, shame, fear. Because guess what? The devil's going to use people to try to shame you guilt trip you you gotta know when that's the devil speaking through someone or doing something to try and to get a reaction you've repented right then what's the problem as long as you've repented then guess what you move forwards not backwards right because that's what people want you to do because they're wicked right and the devil's looking to take as much souls with him as possible you're gonna get people like that but you remember when you were doing this? Remember when you were doing that? Because they got the spirit of devil upon them. Mm -hmm. But what are you doing now? Have you changed? Hmm? Have you changed? Have you improved? That's what it's about. See what else we got. See what else we got. Mm -hmm. Um. Galatians 5 Stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Moshek have made us free So now we be made free But that's through his liberty Right Through Yehoshua's liberty So grace to, to do the right thing to make adjustments Making sure we're doing what's acceptable Right and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Key thing. And be not entangled with the yoke of bondage. And when I tapped into that yoke of bondage, it actually said the pharmaceutical law as well. That was part of that yoke of bondage. Okay. The pharmaceutical law, okay, that was a yoke of bondage. And the yoke of bondage would be this world as well, because this, this the world tries to put a, a yoke of bondage on you. Where if you're not doing what we're doing, then uh, you're, not, you're not a part of the club. So what? Doesn't matter. You're a part of Yahabashah's club, which is the highest ranking club in the heavens on the right hand side. Right? We walk in that confidence that Yahushua has given you. We ain't come this far for no reason. Right? Okay. That's just people trying to make you feel a particular way. Because they're not confident. Because they don't have anything to fall, fall back upon. They don't have any um surety. We do. We scriptures. So when when bad mind not everyone when bad mind people see that of course they're going to feel a particular way because they they have nothing to fall back upon we do they don't have um a foundation we do which is yahweh shy we're going to shut off soon blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven psalm 32 and 1 blessed because that man will increase Whose sin is covered, so we want to make sure our sins are also covered. And who they covered by Yahweh Shai. And this was David saying this, and only the house of David their sins will be forgiven on this side. Now the devil, his whole job is to remind you of sin. That's his whole job. Huh? That's his whole job. But then Yahweh Shai, he shows, no, you're justified through me. I don't care what anyone else is. If I've said you're justified, you're justified through me because I've made you that. 
you have a clean state, you're a new man. That's what to, to be a new man is. You're a new man now in Yahweh Shai. Right? You operate different. Right? <laughs> and whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man whom the Lord Yahweh Shai imputeth not iniquity sin. So he didn't charge you with sin, in whose spirit there is no guile. That's why when he saw Nathaniel, he said under the tree, he said, This is an Israelite in whose spirit is no guile, no inward guile, deceit, and so forth. Okay? So, Lord willing, this was edifying. I know there's more scriptures on it, but I don't want to draw this out long. Lord willing, hold on. Might have one or two more. Right. You've got to look at the tactics. What, what's the enemy trying to do? The enemy's trying to cast down your faith. Ooh, that's what the enemy's trying to do. The, the enemy wants to cast down your faith. The enemy wants to make you doubt. Right? That's what the enemy wants to do. The enemy wants to make you doubt him. Right? Do not doubt Yahweh Shai. Do not doubt. You're forgiven. If he says you're forgiven, guess what? You are forgiven. All right? Fact. All right? Yahabashah says you're forgiven, means you're forgiven. You understand? Okay, you understand? Okay. Um, what else have we got? What else have we got? I want to move on to the next lesson. All right? So, Lord willing. Hold on. See what else we got. So we've got that right there. Yeah, we pretty much went into it already. All right, so we trust in Yahweh Shai. Says you're covered, you're covered. Don't doubt in that. If you're doubting that, you're doubting his grace. All right? If you if you don't believe that the Lord has forgiven you or he's shown you mercy. But you're doubting the Lord Yahweh Shai. You see what I mean? This is about faith. Okay? So Lord willing, I'm going to shut off here and then to the next one. Shalom.